I stay myself, I never change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do whatever gets you paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, but I still, but I still know. Got a hundred different, different to myself. Still 33, four, four, low. Spin it back, roll. I'm on Keller, I'm on Special, I'm on Black Show. I'm at Magic, I'm at Polish, let them, let them go. Then it's right back to the, to the, when I'm, when I'm low. Rocks never close and we wide open. Kick and flavor with me, never, yeah, we look on. Rap the bottom, cause the bottom where we come from. Me no pray for little bit, but need a love song. Yeah, I would rather be a broke, real, real, than a rich, 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 rich. Fall in love with her. She just wanna be a VIP with her, with her, with her, with her. Don't blame me, oh, they just shake me. Had to get it, how I got it on my phone to be. Don't blame me on what the game made me, not what the fame made me. I won't let it change me, I'm the same man. On my foot, on my block, yeah. On my, on my, I won't stop, yeah. Play with me, I let it, let it, yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. We've got a good one on tap today, and there's going to be two quarterbacks ready to get it done on the gridiron. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Jared Goff Steelers. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. There's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. A shotgun snap for Goff. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Slot man moves right. Throwing on third. Gone. And James has it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now a first down carry by Bell. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game when I talk about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Off play action. Here's Golf. Over the middle complete. It's James. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there and a first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. Second down, it's Bell. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. This is Kelly. And he's going to be out of bounds down to the 25. A Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. They go play action here on first down. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. They're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. Boswell on now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Again. Three, second down. Oh, 
Here we go with second and seven. Newton. He gets it to Humphreys. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Where and unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard, there was no room to run. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. From the gun, here's Newton. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Well, now they'll try the end around. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Fighting through. And past the 30, down to about the 27. And a look at Bell, who remains down after that play. Appears to have gotten shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. In motion left goes a tight end. On third down, Kelly. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Two for They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Check, 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 check. 
shift together here from the D-line. Now a play fake here on first down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the... Sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Kelly to try to punch it in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Rob Kelly, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Boswell for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Well on now to kick this one away. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's Newton now on second down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. T.J. Watt coming in from his outside linebacker spot. He buries him for a loss of 10 or 11. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They'll run it now out of the gun. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. It's funny, partner. Le'Veon Bell, when he came out of Michigan State, when I go back and look at my analysis of him and what my grades were for him, I thought he was a big-time player, great potential, but I didn't know we were going to get this player. I was used to a big, solid, thick running back, but now I've got a full pack. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Le'Veon Bell, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he is knocked down from the side at the 22-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. 
We'll check on his status when we get back. scrimmage no gain on the play there second down on second down here's Newton he'll rifle this one deep right side and look at this Cam Newton intercepted a third time Picked up by the former first-rounder, Artie Burns. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get him the next time. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. here knocked back to the 19 yard line that's gonna go as a loss of four and it'll be second down sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy you know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the nfl so do you decide to keep smashing against them or do you decide to throw the ball here they'll get their receiver involved here it's brown and he is gonna lose yardage here a minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here playing off the receivers. And a short gain here down to the 22. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. But once again, a good example of situational football. That was third and very long, so you know they were guarding against the pass. And when they decided to run the ball, that was okay. Whatever yardage they picked up, as long as they didn't get to the first down marker, the defense was willing to concede, and they stopped them well short of a first down. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Go, go, go. 
To throw on second down is Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Off play action. Newton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it, it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. Second and ten, Newton. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Space to maneuver at the 40. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success 
getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. On the ground, this is where. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. One of the things I love about this game is there's a match of wits throughout the game. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to catch someone off guard? It's like the offense thought they might catch the defense off balance with that play call, but unfortunately, that didn't work for them. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, we Defense, got the yeah. we've, got the de we've, got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now, in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield, maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and you know what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. Fullback try and push the pile. And now running right through it. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And while it didn't work very well on that play, defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. They'll try the right side with Bell. Oh, he's got some breathing room. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there in a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Again, it's Bell. And he's got room. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. They'll try the air now with Gaugh. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Let's go. 
So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. First down, gone. Open man left side is Wallace complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Gone. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second and goal here from the nine. Here's a give to Bell running left. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. In motion, James, the tight end. Now Goff on third and goal. This is caught. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. It's the fullback. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. point now by Boswell. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. well on now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. sledding right there and it's been that way the entire game not a whole lot of room to ramble for him yeah you're right it's been that way all afternoon didn't get a whole lot better there the Panthers on third down just one for five to this point this is third and 11 
the gun. Newton. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now Brown, able to spin free. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, <laughs> we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us. Stretch, Stretch. The thing out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Out of the pistol, it's Bell. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll run now with Rare. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. Play clock winding down. Looking to throw on second down. Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Panthers on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is going to be third and 13. Now Newton. It's caught. Humphreys. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. And I have to admit, partner, that I often thought that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, 
and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Throw right side taken in by Wallace. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But it was stopped on that play. But he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. So second and ten here. Goff now looks to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Thomas Davis. The outside linebacker drops him for a loss of six. And the Steelers on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and 16. Hey, 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 hey. From the gun, here's gone. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. To throw again, Newton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to lose yardage here, back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting. 
and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. The Panthers on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third down and 12. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got three. Here we go. Right now. Right now. Right. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. it away and it's a laser headed for the sidelines and this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds and Pittsburgh getting set to take the field they have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game just one kneel here and this game should be over and it's always the final play of preparation each week the practicing of the kneel down formation the victory formation we've got a game in hand and that's all they're going to want to do now they'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire but all in all take the snap kneel down and shake hands yes get out of there and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line tough running there that's a hard earn four yards yeah those are the unsung kind of runs they don't fill up the stat sheet but they do set you up in good position on second down storyline of this one Charles no doubt the number zero zilch nada a shutout so hard to do in the NFL it really is and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side but as a full team there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent and how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column too so for Pittsburgh, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And they'll have another home date next week as the Kansas City Chiefs come to town. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's a loss that sets them back in their playoff push as they fall to 6-5. and five. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.
listening. Oh, oh, you gotta hit the ground. Ain't no chain gun on me now. Dig deep, feel the burn. I've got a calling, so I should learn. I heard a voice of this broken hymn saying, I'm not, this is who I am. I know you ain't dead yet. Don't stop to catch your breath. You're going higher and higher. 